Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. Today I want to do the third video in our series for programming a DRC-10 D2 handheld transmitter. The method I showed today will also work for the D3 transmitter for establishing a crane name with an identification number for the system. This is a necessary step when you install a new receiver board and pair a handheld transmitter to it. At first step in the previous video, we synced the handheld to the receiver and you would end up getting a default name of no ID if there's a new receiver. So this step will show you how to establish a name and replace no ID with a four digit number. Now, we are going to show you how to access the parameter menu to create a four-digit identification number for the receiver. In this case, our starting point is a pre-existing receiver that's already been named 4211 in coordination with the crane serial number, and that being the last four digits. We're going to change the name for this example to 4210. To access the parameter menu, press and hold stop and hit lower, right, right, lower, and hold along with stop for about five seconds until the screen changes. It will begin on parameter number 001 but we need to scroll with a trolley key to parameter 004. Once there, select F1 and we're ready to add in the input. So for the first digit in the first dash position, I will press the trolley right key, scrolling to 4, locking the digit with F1 second digit to a 2, locked with F1, third digit to a 1, locked with F1, have a 0, lock it with F1. When I'm completely done now, press F2, and that name is established as the crane name, and will also appear at the top of the LCD screen. This way, the operator knows he has the proper handheld that matches up with the crane serial number. We've covered how to do a release, how to do a search and assign, and how to establish an identification number, which is the name at the top of the screen.